Laura McAlpine. We're up on Rundles in Harlow's, your campaign on a Saturday. The issue of housing and council housing in, in, is a key part of your manifesto. That's right, yeah, yeah. Um, no, it's really exciting. I think we spoke about this before, but I'm a part of a member of the Labour campaign for council housing, and we're kind of a pressure group that worked with Labour to ensure that we get the council housing that we need. I mean, in Harlow, we've got well over 4,000 on the list. I think it's close to 5,000 actually. Um, and so there is a real need for council housing. So Labour parties promise to build 100,000 council housing and then an additional 50,000 uh, housing association homes per year. It's just going to be brilliant for places like Carlo. It really is, and I'm really excited. I, I, it's al it almost felt a little bit too good to be true because I thought that they wouldn't quite commit, but it's exactly, exactly what we need in Harlow and the villages and across the UK. But how is practically? Yeah. How will that work in Harlow? When you say practically, financially, or in terms of the land that we've got? Or yeah, I think land will be because land. we see we see things like I mean, here we are in La Rundles. It's going to be the Latin Priory development, yeah. Sumners. Harland Garden, Gilston Town, Gildan Way, where's the room to build council houses? So the manifesto states that actually what we're going to do is we're really going to be looking at creative ways, mainly looking at brownfield sites, especially for Harlow because you know it is we are building to our max really um, so we'll be making use of brownfield sites but creating the infrastructure and we touched on this the other day so it will be properly landscaped with the outdoor space we need community hubs a proper bus service a library doctor surgeries all of those things that we need in Harlow to go with the housing that comes in as well do you think people might think that sounds a bit too ideological I really don't think so I mean you look at what happened after the second world war and you know Labour built Harlow um, and at one point we had 20,000 council houses. I mean, it's fantastic. It's what is needed. I mean, when I speak to people on the doorstep, different generations, I could be speaking to somebody in their 60s and they'll say, you know, I've got my children who are now 30s, 40s living with me because they can't afford rents and they can't get on a council list because there's no council accommodation left and they can't afford to save for that deposit. For, for, for a mortgage so they're really stuck and then you speak to the longer, younger people who feel completely frustrated and, and helpless actually in despair because they don't see a way out of this situation so um, I'm really 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 excited about this and I feel very hopeful for the future of Harlow and the villages. Just, just one more thing just uh, regarding £80,000 and the 5% is there enough What's your message to the people in Harlem and the villages who are on £80,000 yeah. plus? Or indeed people who aspire to be on £80,000 plus? Yeah, yeah. So I would say that you know, that's 95% of the people, their tax doesn't go up. But yeah, for the 5% who are on £80,000 and more, it goes up slightly. Do you want to have better roads, better schools, um, money for our emergency services, you know, a better way of life? Look at the Netherlands and look at how they're doing it. Sometimes those with a little bit more money need to pay a little bit more too but really the focus is on the big corporations the googles the amazons you know big big corporations that are really getting away with paying no tax or very little tax we need that money we, we need it for working class communities like the people of harlow and the villages and just putting so putting those two themes together you still think this is an aspirational manifesto and you feel that people are responding to this on the doorstep absolutely oh it is but it is i'm aspirational i have huge ambition for this town like i said before it's about bringing everybody up not everybody down we want a better life for, for selfishly for my child as well you know my son's only 10 months old i want a better life for his future this is part of the reason why i'm doing it but um yeah i'm hugely aspirational and excited about the future under a labor government